In other news, the National Trade Union Congress of Belize, NTUCB, has expressed concern about the decision of the Social Security Board regarding the constitution of the board for the Public Administration Campus Limited. That is the special purpose vehicle created by the government to oversee the management of the construction of two government office buildings in the Chetamal Street government complex that already houses the Eleanor Hall Finance Building. The cost of the two buildings is Belize $54.35 million, with the Social Security Board, SSB, subscribing to a bond offering to the tune of $28.3 million of that total. Based on its shareholding, SSB gets to have three members on the company's board, while the government will have two. On Wednesday, the NTUCB reported that the proposed composition of the five-member board is to have all private sector members. The Congress says this represents complete disregard for a tripartite balance of private sector, public sector, and workers, and a blatant disregard of its own composition as reflected in the Social Security Board Act. The NTUCB says labor representation would ensure, quote, financial prudence while safeguarding constitutional direct participatory democracy, end quote. The NTUCB is therefore demanding that the government ensures the tripartite representation is maintained. The CEO for the SSB, Deborah Ruiz, stated that nominations were made and directors had the opportunity to make their nominations. She added that votes were then taken and the matter was decided by majority.